Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jade and this is my first video. I'm gonna be sharing my non-traditional journey to medical school with you guys, so stay tuned. So a little bit about myself. I'm from New Orleans, Louisiana. I'm 25 years old. I went to LSU for undergrad. I studied biology and French. Um, a little fun fact about me, I studied abroad in Lyon, France for a semester and anybody that knows me knows that I love traveling. So that was a dream come true. If you get the opportunity to study abroad, I would definitely take it. It's gonna boost your application and you're just gonna have a great time, so do it. If you guys want um, a video on travel tips, studying abroad, just let me know and I can make one. Moving on to uh, post back graduate experience, I did a master's program at Mississippi College, which was one of the best things that I could have done. Um, I love the program, I love the people, the classes, the students, faculty, everything was just great. Um, if you are looking for a post back to go to because your application isn't strong enough, I would highly, highly recommend that program. So let's talk about stats. Um, obviously getting into medical school is, there's a lot that goes into it, but stats are one of the things that they look at, of course. Uh, my GPA from LSU was a 3.3. And if you're going into medicine, you know that that is no good. So I was lacking in the GPA area. My MCAT was the first time I took it, I got 497. The second time I took it, I went down to a 495. So I was very discouraged. And then the third time I took the test, I got the score I needed, which was a 504. And obviously that's the score that I got into medical school with. So these are just stats. Of course, there's more that goes into medical school, such as clinical experience, research, which I did not have any of. I wish I had done research, but um, research is a big thing that they look at. I didn't have any research experience. They look at volunteer and community service, um, things like that. So, just, to, so just a little brief summary about some of the stuff that I included in my experience section. Of course, my study abroad experience, clinical experience. I worked in the hospital as an EKG tech for a year. Customer service experience. I worked at Victoria's Secret for about three, four years. I had a lot of volunteer experience um, through organizations that I was in at school. And I feel like all those things together really helped my application out. So nothing is too small. Any preceptorships that you have, any shadowing that you've done, put it, um, that's what they're looking for. So put all that stuff. Now that you guys know a little bit about me, I wanna share with you why I'm making this channel. So I know that medical school, getting in, just getting into medical school is extremely hard. Um, I've been trying for years. And I just wanted to create this channel to inspire people who are feeling like me. Um, you knew that you always wanted to be a doctor or go into medicine but you're either struggling with the MCAT, you're strugg struggling with your GPA. Um, and I just wanna encourage you that if medicine is something that you're passionate about, that you know you can see yourself doing for the rest of your life, please don't give up. Um, I'm gonna be sharing with you some motivational stuff along the way. Um, and I really just wanna encourage you to keep pushing because we need amazing doctors. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for tuning into my channel. Please don't forget to like if you found this video helpful, comment and subscribe, do all that stuff. And um, stay tuned for my next videos. Mm -hmm.